Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Zebu Nation. We're back, FC Cincinnati, and it is time for the U.S. Cup. That's right, 2020 U.S. Cup is in full effect, and we have reached the semi-final round versus D.C. United, as you see here. Let's take a look at the stage. On the other side of the bracket, it is Houston versus Colorado. So that's an interesting matchup over there. It's two Eastern Conference teams versus two Western Conference teams. I don't know if that's how they always set it up. Honestly, I never, I never even crossed my mind that that would be how they set it up. But I don't think it is. But anyway, let's get to our match preview today. We're going straight into it. We're not messing around. We are the favorites, 6-4. to four. We're in strong form right now. Four wins in our last five. They are in inconsistent form. Two wins, two losses, and one draw. We've won three of the last five versus DC United with one draw and one loss. Um, you know, our team has gotten back to healthy, mostly healthy. Of course, Philippe is still out. But uh, other than that, we're, you know, we're back almost. You know, some of these guys are just returning, so they're not quite going to play or anything like that. But, uh, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. Team selection. Let's go. Here we are. We got, you know, a lot of familiar names in there. We are, of course, going with the reverse Z formation. Let's go. Christopher Richards lacking match sharpness. Indeed, he is. Indeed, he is. Okay. Let's get to it. Stefan in goal again. Hudson has lost all of his match sharpness since earlier in the year, so I just didn't want to throw him in there. At like, I think he's down to like 48% fitness, so like, get out of here. Uh, New who at left back, Clute at right, Glad and Richards, Kugo back at Segundo Volante, uh, Richie Salvador in the midfield, DeVries, Crispum, Sonora, and Adi. So that's, you know, pretty much a starting caliber lineup in there. Meanwhile, they've got, is that Jonathan Gonzalez in goal? Jesse Gonzalez. Why did I say Jonathan? He's not a goalkeeper. Anyway, Jesse Gonzalez in goal. Pelinard, Polster at the fullbacks. Burnbaum and Gabriel Diaz. Central defense. Juicely back again at central defender. Wayne Rooney in the midfield. Taking the captain's armband with Harks. Uh, Villa Marin. Is this some guy I should know? 28-year-old Peruvian. Came to D.C. United this season for 125 k Made 16 appearances, 6 goals, 3 assists, 7.39 rating. So he's playing very good. Came from the Peruvian 1st Division. Areola at the right, the leading assist man. And Boyd up top, the leading goal scorer. Terrence Boyd, target man. What's he up to these days? He came over from uh, Darmstadt in Germany. Bundesliga 2. 725k, 23 appearances, 11 goals, 7.02 rating. So this must be why DC United is doing well this season. They got a good attack, so we're going to have to worry about that. But anyway, dressing room. Hand over to the assistant, pep talk, let's go tunnel talk. Uh, there's already a significant talking point following the absence of Casper. Mm. Talk to the assistant there, buddy. So we are at home. Uh, they said there's going to be a good crowd today, you know, nearly a sellout, 28, 29,000, somewhere around there. Well, I guess, I guess we got 40,000, so not quite a sellout, but a very good crowd, especially recently. We've had some bad crowds recently. So, it's a breath of fresh air to get a good crowd. Here's Crispum getting the throw in. Back to Clute. Clute centers it. DeVries can't get to it, but Nuhu is there. Nuhu, is he going to take a shot? He does. It's deflected. He's going to get it back on the near sideline. And he's going to win another throw in. Uh, is the highlight going to continue? Perhaps. Perhaps. No, but we get another throw in on the right hand side. Kugo heads it down for Klute. Crispum takes it wide. Nice turn. Nice turn. He gets past. He's fouled. Adi will take the penalty. Sure. Why not? We'll let Adi take the penalty. Akechi is not in the game. 
Uh, Pelinard is arguing the call, and he gets a yeller for his troubles. Get out of here. Here we go. Adi could use a goal. Get off the schneid, my man. Let's get a goal. Take it with that trusty right foot. Oh, man. He sends Jesse going the wrong way. There we go, boys. Up 1-0. That's how we like it. At home. Yeah. I think those were the DC fans in the corner. There's Adi again scoring. Easy, easy goal. All right. Pelinard gets the yellow card. Maybe he's a little off his game. Going to get distracted. Distracted by the referee. Here's Stefan with a goal kick. Tries to find Adi deep. He wins it back to Akugo. Salvador. They're pressuring the midfield, but he gets it up to Sonora. Sonora's got some space out wide. He gets it to Clute, who's on the overlap. Sends it in. Tries to get it to Crispum, of all people. <clears throat> Richie Salvador wins it out wide. To Nuhu, that's a bit of a experimental pass, but Nuhu gets there. Gets it to DeVries. Come on, boys. Let's get a shot out of this. Kugo, he's wide open. He's going to take that. Wide shot. Okay. I wonder if we should try to send it long again like we did last game. That worked out pretty good. But I don't know. I think uh, DC United is dropping back a little bit. We are on extended highlights for this game because it's the only game of the day. So maybe we're seeing some highlights that we wouldn't normally. Kugo to Salvador. Senora. Crispum. What was that, my man? What was that? Gonzalez with a goal kick. 15 minutes. Uh, Crispum kind of wins the header, kind of does not. Villa Moran sends it out wide to Areola on the run, centers it. Oh, too easy. Too easy to beat that back line. Tie it up. Areola to Boyd. It's all their best players connecting here. Villa Moran to Areola to Boyd. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Two goals already in 15 minutes. Will the excitement never stop? Crispum to DeVries, who's got some space. Sends it all the way across to Senora. Senora scores. <laughs> Look at this. We're going crazy. Oh, cartwheel for the fans. They're loving it. They're loving it. 2-1. 16 minutes. It's a goal right after they scored theirs. Crispum starts it going. Look at that. They just left DeVries like 20 yards between him and the closest player. And Senora just boots it. Uh, look at that. The keeper was, he was heading one way. Could not get back. Could not uh, get his momentum going back the other direction. Okay, is this how it's going to be? Is it going to be a goal every couple of minutes? 19 minutes down. Ra Rooney has it out wide. Boyd back to Wayne Rooney. Don't let him shoot it. Thank you. Good defense. Good stop. Parks going the wrong way. Juicily is going to reset the offense. Gets it to Wayno. Parks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're messing around with it. Polster. Nice. Good defense. That was pretty good defense. Boyd got a head on it, but he was between two men. And uh, he sent it wide, so it's fine. 20 minutes now. Stefan booms one downfield. Adi wins the header. Oh, I thought, uh, I thought Crispin was going to get to that. All right. Here is DC United on the attack. Ariola sends one forward to Boyd. He's behind the defense. Look at that. Good old number 99 back there on defense. Um, uh, here's Ariola. Sending one in from the far corner. Stefan gets out there and saves it easily. That's good. 
Uh, Richards is who I was thinking of. That's 99. I remember was, uh, last season, he's like, I want to be number 99. I don't care. I think that's like uh, Bradley Wright Phillips from New York City. I think that's his number, 99. And uh, he just applied to be a coach for our team. We, we talked to the board a little bit, and the board agreed to let us have some more coaching slots. So we're trying out for a fitness coach and another general coach. Areola gets one forward to Boyd. Good defense. Richards has it. Um, so, yeah, we had a bunch of ex-players. Matt Beasler, Bradley Wright Phillips, a few other guys. So we got, we got some choices. DeVries down the sideline. Gets it forward to Adi. Adi has Crispum if he wants. Nope, drops it back to Richie. Crispum forward. Senora with another shot. Goes wide. Let's see, what else did the board agree to? They agreed. Oh, they got it. We got a new affiliate. We got a very good affiliate, too. We got North Carolina. Here's DeVries. Free kick. Gets it on target. Crispum wins a corner off the rebound. That's some good good defending there by DC. Here's DeVries now with the corner. Sends it in. Juicily heads it out, but Richie Salvador is going to get it back out wide again. Yep. To DeVries. He's got a lot of space. Oh, Holster. Got back nicely on the defense. I think half our guys were offside, but anyway, another corner. DeVries sends one high this time. Glad cannot win it. Senora takes it out wide. <sighs> Deflected, and nobody goes after it except for Areola from DC. They're going to start the attack now. This is dangerous time. Anytime after a, uh, a set piece. Okay, they're going to reset. That's good. That's fine. So, yeah, we got a new affiliate, North Carolina. They're very good. We're going to send a couple guys out on loan to them. And then, um, what else? There's something else. I have to think about it. Here's DeVries. Got a few men on him, making some moves, looking to make a play. Has to drop it back to Nuhu. Centers to Richie. Cross to Akugo. He's going to shoot that wide. Let's go with the hit early crosses. Let's give it a try for the last 10 minutes. Because <sighs> it's working the ball around. So far, it's not getting any good shots. They've got a pretty good defense. So maybe we can get behind them. If Adi can get behind them, that would be outstanding. And even if we run out the clock, here's New who would throw in to Richie Salvador. He sends one in. Adi with the header goes wide, but Senora on the back side for the rebound. Put back. 3-1. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Senora. New who to Richie. This is a very good just... Again, exploratory. Adi gets ahead on it. Gonzalez with a great stop, but defense could not keep Sonora off the rebound. Couldn't keep him off the boards. Yeah, he's not really a big, strong dude. But he's got some interesting abilities. All right, 42 minutes. We're getting close to halftime. DC would really like to get one back here. Areola. Getting forward, Wayne Rooney, Parks. You know, I can never remember Wayne Rooney's name. Like, when it comes to just trying to remember his name out of the blue. There's Stefan with a shot. I can't remember. I don't know what it is. I just... I just blank on his name. <clears throat> you know, I want to call him by some other... English player who may or may not have come over to the United States in the past 10 or 15 years. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's it's not really pertinent to anything, but 3-1, half 
Halftime, that is pretty pertinent. Now, tactics. Do we drop back? Do we, do we, do we? I think we do. I think we do fall back a little bit. Um, we'll stick with center mid in support. And um, we will also... I think we will hit early crosses. As weird as that sounds. Like time waste and hit early crosses. They'll confuse them. They won't know what to make of that, right? That's genius. That's that's thinking right there. Um, strategy and whatnot. All right, here we go. Very pleased with your performance and pep talk. Let's go. Second half. Boyd to Wayno. So if we can win the U.S. Cup, that will get us back into Champions League and we can try to redeem ourselves for next season. Great tackle by Akugo. Definitely like another crack at Champions League. We got so close. One stinking goal away from winning it. I don't know what we can do to improve the roster next year. Um... I tend to have a lot of patience. I mean, it doesn't seem like that this season. Here's DeVries with a free kick. He nearly curled one in there. Forced Gonzalez to make the save there. That was a pretty athletic move by him. You know, th with this save, I have not been very patient with the roster. I've been just going crazy bringing people in. But normally, I like to, you know, let the roster grow and improve and let the young players play and let them get better and, you know, improve the team that way so we might have to start doing that in the next couple of seasons instead of bringing in all these players here's DeVries again another free kick he couldn't put that much curve on it now come on buddy come on now can't like put a 45 degree curve on the thing Senor look at that 8.82 .8, goals playing really well Everybody else sort of average except for Adi on a 7.1. But it's much better than DC. They, they're playing real bad. Three yellow cards. Bunch of guys sitting on 6.3s and 6.4s. Clute with a throw in. Gets it to Crispum. I think we're in our own half here. Yeah, we are. Deep in our own half. Messing around with it. Playing it uh, loose. 61 minutes. Richie Salvador with a yellow card. He boots it far side. DeVries again wide open as usual. Per usual. He sends it in. Adi is there, but uh, sort of a weak header. And Gonzalez grabs that easily. But that's the play we want. We want them hitting Adi on the cross. There's a throw in now for DC, 63 minutes. Harks has it. He boots one over. Let's look at the analysis here. Um, getting shots. Boyd is escaping. Okay, that's fine. Fine, unt dandy. No problems. Could try to get the yellow cards out of there. Uh, let's see, what could we do with those yellow cards? We could, wow, we could bring Delgado in. He hasn't played. <laughs> he hasn't played all year. And we promised him we wouldn't trade him until the end of his contract. So we got, like, till 2022 before we can get rid of him. And I mean, not that we necessarily want to get rid of him, but he's been injured all season. We haven't been able to do anything with him. We haven't been able to work him back into the lineup. So maybe now's the time to get him some playing time. Marky Delgado for Richie Salvador. That could be a bad idea. Then I think I'll bring Ketchy in for DeVries. Just get those yellow cards out of there. Morris with a free kick. Bends one around. Stefan with a stop. Durkin is there. Yeah, he was way offside. Thank you. Thank you. 
Another good stop by Stefan. 7-0 rating for him right now. He's played a lot in the last couple of weeks. Here's Ariola sending one in. Akechi heads it out. Good man, but looks like DC is going to get a second crack at it. 82 minutes down. Gabriel Diaz, the central defender, gets it to Morris. Who's Morris? 11. Who are you? Are you a new sub? Yep. Oh, they're switching their lineup around. Clute throw in to Sonora. They lose it at midfield, though. Juicely. He loses it to Glad. Gets it to Adi. Adi. Forward to a catchy out wide on the wing. He hasn't played there much this season. He sends it to Adi. Great pass. Oh, off the post. Great play. Senora tracks it down. Sends it back in. DC gets a hold of it. And they're going to start the counterattack now with Boyd. Defense is back, though. Look at Akugo. Great steal. Playing well, boys. We're playing well. 86 minutes down. Should be another victory here. 89 minutes, four minutes of added time. Free kick, Areola. Lobs one in there. Just easy for Stefan to grab it. He could have just let it go out if he felt like it, but I guess he did not feel like it. Play it forward. Good pass to Senora. Wide open. Down the near sideline. Past his man, centers it, Adi. Hmm. Adi's had a lot of chances. He hasn't really finished many of them. He finished one, but that was a penalty, right? It's been so long ago, but yeah, I think it was a penalty. All right, uh, three minutes to go. Catchy, free kick. Sends one in. Richards wins the header, but can't really get it to Senora. Catchy though, gets the rebound. Flings it into the crowd. They're wildly enthusiastic about that. Come on, boys. Minute and a half to go. Let's just squeeze squeeze the rock. And uh, it's kind of a football term. But anyway, let's run out the clock and uh, put this one away. Come on. 20 seconds to go. Let's see that last highlight. Here it is, corner. Ariola sends one in. Stefan makes the save. That should be it. 3-1. Let's blow the whistle, buddy. Let's blow the whistle. Nothing else to see here. We're done. There it is. One last major boot downfield. There we go. Fernando Adi with a penalty in the fourth minute. And then Senora with two goals. Boyd in the 16th minute to tie it up very briefly, oh so briefly, because Sonora followed that up in the 16th and a half minute. 23 shots, 8 on target. Both teams had 13 fouls. We had 56% possession. It's outstanding. Outstanding. Dressing room, pep talk. You've done it. You're in the finals. Congratulations. Foreign transfer window ends at midnight. Cincinnati win the cup. Blah, blah, blah. Senora, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Burhalter. What's Burhalter want? Uh, Burhalter was casting an eye over Zach Steff and Justin Glad, Stephen Birnbaum, Paul Ariola, Terrence Boyd for the next USA team. Okay. Okay, we got a lot of prospects for Team USA. Let's see who we're going to play, and then we'll uh, call it a day. Uh, oh, here's a fitness coach advertisement. Take a look at those fellas in a minute. No. 10. 16 fitness. That might be good. Pitar Milkanovic. Milsanovic. Milkanovic. Something like that. Anyway, transfer deadline is today. Okay. It's not what we're interested though. We're interested in U.S. Cup situation. We got we got to come back and play D.C. United again. Okay, so Patrick Lee is going out on loan. Look at this. He's going out on loan to the 
the French League One. How about that? They they are excited about this young man. They want him as a rotational player, but they've got excellent training facilities, and he's not playing at all uh, for us. So it'd be great for the 18-year-old to get over to Europe and uh, you know get some uh get some experience over there promising center back it's funny when i accidentally put this guy out on uh like transfer bid like if i accidentally hit uh transfer it puts him out there for 15 million so that's kind of funny but anyway except that perez is going to north carolina slightly less exciting than going to france but snedden also so now we got a little bit of room if we need to bring in some guys. You know, we can actually now register Hudson. We could actually register, um, uh, who am I thinking of here? Delgado. Take him off the, the endangered list. And, yeah, so we can balance out our roster a little bit. You know, get some of the young players that we could never get out on loan for some reason. Get them out on loan now and, and bring some veterans in. So there we go. There we go. Uh, did we find out who we're playing? I don't think so. Competitions. Houston or Colorado. When do they play? U.S. Cup. They play Wednesday, August 5th. That is today. So let us see. There we go. We got him loaned out. Come on, come on, come on. We just want to see who we play. Be interesting to play Houston. We don't play them very often. And, you know, they got that great offense, so they could uh, give us some troubles, that's for sure. D.C. United, that's not what we're looking for. Houston or Colorado, still waiting to play. There we go, Houston, Colorado. I guess they're going to play at 1930. It's 1900 right now, so we got 30 minutes to go. Come on, people. You're killing me here. You're killing me. I don't know why I'm still recording. I don't know why. I just can't help it. The, the suspense is killing me. There it is. Colorado versus FC Cincinnati in the U.S. Cup finale. Coming up when? Coming up when? When, 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 when? Not until next month. So we got a month to go. Two, four, six games in between now and then. So uh, we'll come back at some point. We just played DC United. I don't really want to see them again. Maybe we'll come back. Come back for Chicago and Toronto. So, see how these four games go. Or maybe come back for Atlanta. I mean, we we always lose to Atlanta. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. All right, so we'll come back in a little while. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.